Needham Boys Soccer split their first two games of the season with Brookline as each team claimed a shutout on their home turf. During their bye week that followed, the group was able to focus on practice and make any adjustments as they prepped for Natick. The Rockets won their first match. Uh, I, wow, I've been messing up words left and right on this one. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> In three, two. Needham Boys Soccer split their first two games of the season with Brookline as each team claimed a shutout on their home turf. During their bye week that followed, the group was able to focus on practice and made any adjustments as they prepped for Natick. The Rockets won the first matchup with the Red Hawks 3-2, despite letting a two-goal lead slip away. On Friday, October 23rd, the two teams met at Memorial Field with Needham looking to sweep. Now let's head to Memorial. First two minutes of the first quarter, Alex Klayman squeezes a pass into Daniel Feinstein, and the senior blasts a shot to the back of the net to give the Rockets an early lead. Then we move to the last two minutes of the quarter. Long through ball ahead to Feinstein. He's onside. There were a bunch of offsides calls in this. Swirls around Natick's keeper, leaving a wide open net in front of him. And Needham leads it 2 0 after one. Second quarter is quieter for the Rockets. Red Hawks trying to cut into the lead early in the quarter. Natick forward tries to go one on four. It turns out to be an easy save for Benjamin Whitland. A little over a minute later, Red Hawks with a good chance after a loose ball pokes out. Whitland gets a hand on it and deflects it off the post. Teams go to halftime with Needham hanging on to the 2-0 lead. Early in the second half, Feinstein sends a cross over. Finbar McCarron tries a bicycle kick. Almost floats it over the head of the keeper. Game stays 2-0 until late in the third. Feinstein with a little pop pass. Gerard Costa chases it down. He rips a left-footed boot to the opposite corner. 3-0. Rockets right there after three quarters. Jump to early in the fourth. McElroy Turner pass up ahead to Feinstein. He takes it to his right foot and shoots low left to complete the hat trick. Needham on top comfortably, four nothing. Natick working hard to try to get on the board. They do just a couple of minutes later. A high shot is batted away by Whitland, but uh, goes right to a waiting Red Hawks forward who taps in the rebound. Rockets squash any hope for Natick comeback though with two minutes left. Marcus Trabuco puts the cherry on top. A free kick here. He deposits a goal. 5-1 your final. Rockets improved to 3-1. Daniel Feinstein gets the first hat trick of the season. He has five of Needham's seven goals in their first two games at Memorial. Rockets followed up this contest with a 3-1 win at Newton North on October 27th. Needham Field Hockey remains the lone undefeated team for Rockets Athletics. All three of the squad's wins have come in shutout fashion as Cammie Foster closes out her senior season by continuing to make her case as one of the top goalies in the state. Speaking of seniors, it was senior night for the group when they welcomed Newton North to DeFazio Field on October 29th. Was win number four on the horizon? Let's go to the highlights. We start in the final minute of the first quarter. Kenzie Kelly picks up the turnover, goes to the backhand and sizzles home a goal to open up the scoring for the game. Early in the second quarter, Kelly again directing traffic. Tries a backhand pass this time, but it's just out of the reach of Ali Yi. A couple minutes later, Lena Bannon has it down low in the circle. Her shot is saved. Grace Kelly snatches the rebound, spins and pots the second chance goal. She doubles the Rocket lead. Later in the quarter, Needham controlling play in the offensive end. Goalie comes out aggressively, ball squeezes by her, and Sydney Clayman whacks in the goal to put the home team up three zip. Tigers are able to get on the board before halftime. Cami Foster makes the initial pad save, but it bounces right back to North and they slip it by her. And we have a 3 1 game heading to the break. Pick it up late in the third quarter. Bouncing ball leads to a little scramble in the circle. Needham finds Lily Schmalz in the middle. Her shot finds the back corner, so the Rockets regain that three-goal lead. Tigers cut the deficit in half in the fourth, but the Rockets halt any momentum for a comeback. Caroline Hahn, not Han Solo, Caroline Hahn, and Caroline Bernie work a give and go. The senior Hahn finishes it beautifully. That makes it 5-2, which is how this one ends. Needham victorious on a cold, drizzly senior night. They also stay unbeaten at 4-0-1. Rockets will close the regular season next week with a home-and-home -home against Wellesley.